end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. I got to tell you something, you know, from day one, when I talk about the Xerox HP thing, I keep telling people, man, you got to look at the ways this will work, not the ways it won't work. And then we all get this article came out a couple of days ago. You know, the one in the Asian review where they said, hey, you know, we reached out to the president of Canon, Canon Japan, and we said, hey, Mr. President of Canon Japan, if Xerox buys HP, you know, and becomes a formable competitor of yours, what will you do? Well, the way they asked the question, if I was the president of, you know, Canon, I'd probably say, well, if Xerox becomes a formable competitor of mine, I'll cancel my contract with HP. Folks, the question was asked, the answer was given, but that's not the end of the story. See, we read something like this and we can't, we can't imagine what the next page could be because we look at this as an absolute. Let me ask everybody a question. Do you honestly believe if the question asked of the president of Canon was this? Mr. President of Canon, if Xerox buys HP and then calls you up and says, hey, we would like you to manufacture all of our Xerox equipment. You know, we don't have a relationship with Fuji anymore. We want you to take that relationship's place. In other words, not only will you manufacture and sell 14% of your business to HP like you currently do, you're going to sell us all our A3 equipment. Man, we'll be able to work out some synergies with your Canon distribution that you have today. Or what if the question was this? If Xerox calls you up and says, hey, Mr. President of Canon, we just bought HP and we'd like to sell you a 25% equity stake in the new company and we'd like you to manufacture all the hardware for both HP and Xerox, would you be interested? I don't think you'd hear the president of Canon talking about, oh my gosh, that'd be terrible, I'm not going to do it. There's no way in the world I want to grow my business that much. That would be way too much growth in a declining market. Pretty silly, isn't it, folks? But I got to tell you something. If my friends in the imaging channel would start imagining how this thing could work, instead of continuously imagining how it won't work, instead of continuously defying logic of the market realities where consolidation is a must, and I can't imagine anybody in the world that doesn't recognize the fact when the two most recognized names in the industry come together, how powerful that could be. And you know what? I got to tell you something. If we don't start learning how to read between the lines, and if we don't start learning how to figure out what's on the next page before it's presented to us, and more importantly, what's on the page in front of the page we're reading, well, we're going to end up in a world of complacency, and we're going to end up in a world disrupted by those who could look in different places. So I'll end my time like I always do. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and have a fantastic day, my friends.